Hello, Georgia B back again. I'm going to show you this card today. Is that a bit different? Um, I made this card using the stamp set Honey Bee Home. I'm sure you're getting fed up with that one. Um, but yeah, I like that one, so I've used that. And I'm also using a retired one, just because I want that. A happy birthday to you, I want it to stand out. I did use, hope you have the best birthday, but I had to do, I didn't want it on a piece of card, I wanted it flat on the card, but my best didn't turn out properly. So I'm going to change that to that. For the card I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Two pieces of basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for inside, one for the outside, and I've got three strips of basic white at one and a half by three and three quarters. And obviously, I'm going to do the sentiment using that handsomely suited. So I'm actually going to do that first, but I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to stamp this upside down. I want it right in this corner here. And pray I've got it straight. Yeah. I don't usually put things right up in the corner, but for the way these cards work out, it needs to be up there. Right, just take my three strips and we're going to stamp. This one's got a horrible edge. that one on the inside where you can't see it. Right, got my memento black ink, ink up the flower. Ice cream man. One day, I've been in this house 10 years, I've never found out where he stops or never seen where he stops. We just hear him. There's one. And two. One more. Now I've got a load of pens here. These are fat the pens. I made these cards at um, Papercraft Group on Thursday night and I just shoved these pens in my bag. So, Blush and Bride pen. We're going to do two flowers in Blush and Bride. One, 
Okay. And the second one. Doing nothing fancy with these, just showing them some colour. Right, and the other one is Highland Heather Light. What a quick flower to colour in. The only thing is they're so fiddly with them being small. I'm trying to see the line through your fat fingers. Or my fat fingers. That's one. Oh, yellow or daffodil delight just to add some yellow to the inside of the flowers And some All right this is old olive light which is for the leaves I've actually got the brush end this is a new pen I gave up on the brushes on my old pen and got some new ones It's finished then. All right, and then with the dark, I did the little stems.
one. And the last one. There we are, all coloured in. Right now then, I'm trying to pick this one up. All these, right, I need um, dimensionals on them, but I am actually going to use strips. packet so I am going to put three strips on these on the two pink ones And then just one on the one that goes in the middle and I'm just going to put it right down the middle. Now the bit I cut off, I'm actually going to put across the bottom on this one. not one not just plop them on the middle like that and do the same with these just plop them over the card right I'm going to Glue this on. And then I'm going to glue the glue. Stick the centre one down first. Right, I'm going to stick that. Which one had the rough side? 
<laughs> Must have fixed it. Right. Take all these backings off. edge up no, I can see the bad side it's going to go this way lift this edge up and we're going to just place that And this one These were in a bit. No, I have to stay like that. And that is my card for today. No it's not. Don't get ahead of yourself Burns. Got to do the inside. So I'm just popping that there. That's not very straight. What you could do is stamp like the top bit of a flower on the inside if you wanted to decorate it. Oh, well, that's today's cup. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload on a Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.